Konnichiwa. In this video, you will learn how to use mata, verb in its tail form, imasen in your speech. This sentence pattern is used to describe something that you have not done yet. Now let's take a look at this dialogue between Kimura, an office manager, and Kawaguchi, who works under Kimura. Kimura says, Tanaka-san ni denwa shite kudasai. Please call Tanaka-san. Kawaguchi replies, Hai, wakarimashita. Understood. Two days later, Kimura asks, Mo Tanaka-san ni denwa shimashita ka? Have you already called Tanaka? Kawaguchi answers, Iye, mata shite imasen. No, I have not. Kimura, losing his temper, asks, Doshite? Why or why not? Kawaguchi apologizes, saying, Sumimasen. I am sorry. Please know that Kawaguchi says, Iye, mata shite imasen. Instead of saying, Iye, shimasen deshita. No, I didn't call Tanaka-san. What is the difference between these two sentences? There are several ways to say I did something or I did not do something in Japanese. In this dialogue, the question asks, Kino terebi o mimashita ka? Did you watch TV yesterday? A says, E, terebi o mimashita. Yes, I watched TV. B says, Iye, terebi o mimasen deshita. No, I didn't watch TV. A and B are simply answering the question, describing if they watched TV or not. Watashi wa mo terebi o mimashita. I have already watched TV. Please know that in this sentence, mo is used to emphasize that it has been done versus something that has not been done. Its opposite is watashi wa mata terebi o mite imasen. I have not watched TV yet. Please know that this sentence explains where things stand as of now, and then the emphasis is on something that has not been done yet, as opposed to something was not done in a simple past tense form. That is why Kawaguchi's answer says, Iye, mata shite imasen. It is a more appropriate answer to his boss's question. Please also note that te form of the verb is used here to go with mata and imasen, to describe that the activity has not has been done yet. Here is just a quick review on te forms of verbs. There are nine possible verb endings for u verbs. Please use the verb's te form songs to review these. In any case, if a verb ends in u, zi, or lu, its te form is the small zi and te. If a verb ends in bu, mu, or nu, its te form is n de. If a verb ends in su and it's shite, ku is ite and gu is ite. As for lu verbs, just drop lu and e te, then you'll get its te form. For suru to do, its te form is shite, and for kuru, its te form is kite. Please do review these te forms so that you can use them correctly with mata, verb, te imasem sentence pattern to describe something that has not been done yet. Now, let's listen to this dialogue between Kimura, a caretaker, and Kenta. Kusuri o nonde kudasai. Hai, wakarimashita. Mo kusuri o nomimashita ka? Iye, mada nonde imasen. Doshite? You can probably tell from this conversation that Kenta is a procrastinator. In this table, we will compare the answers of the people who are on task and who are procrastinators. The first question says, Mo benkyo shimashita ka? Have you already studied? The girl on task would say, E, mo benkyo shimashita. And the procrastinator would say, Iye, mata benkyo shite imasen. The second question asks, Mo gohan o tabemashita ka? Have you already had your meal? The boy on task would say, E, mo gohan o tabemashita. And the procrastinator would say, 
いいえ、まだご飯を食べていません。The third question asks, もうご飯を作りましたか Have you already cooked the meal? The woman on task would say, えー、もうご飯を作りました。And the procrastinator would say, いいえ、まだご飯を作っていません。Here are a few lists of useful phrases and words. I hope you can apply them to the sentence structure mentioned in this video. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Please also look for the other videos that I have made that may be helpful with your Japanese learning. Thanks for watching. Dewa mata.